In today's video, I'll be showing you how to replace the ignition switch on this Troy built lawnmower. If your Troy build has a difficult time starting, it like makes this like ticking sound like but it does not want to engage, it does not want to start. Or if it starts after like the 10th try and you start cutting your grass and then out of nowhere, it just like loses power and it turns off. Chances are it is your ignition switch. On this lawnmower, I put a new battery, new belts, new fuel filter, all of that stuff, simply because I did not know what was wrong with it. So I was replacing things left and right. But now my brand new ignition switch has been delivered. I bought it online. And now in today's video, I'll be showing you how quick and easy it is to swap it out. First thing you wanna do is open up the front of your lawnmower. And then you're going to see your engine. The engine cover does have like four or five bolts right here. You can see one right here, two, three, and four right there. They are the eight millimeter. So you simply unscrew them and this cover comes off. Once the cover is off, you'll be able to see the ignition coil switch, which is right here. Check it out. This one is very rusted. This lawnmower has been sitting outside for like pretty much all year long. So again, you're going to use a number eight millimeter right there. And you're going to unscrew these two bolts just like this. I already unscrewed them just to make the video a lot shorter. I do not want to spend 20 minutes unscrewing bolts. So once you unscrew it, it will look like this. As you can see, it is completely rusted out. Next thing you want to do is remove this right here and you want to unplug it from the spark plug i'm gonna do this and then i'll continue the video all right so once you have the spark plug wire unplugged you unplug this white one as well and then the coil switch should come off with no issues whatsoever now out with the old in with the new Let's see if i can do this one-handed check it out and here's the new one one thing that i do want to mention check it out exactly the same but shinier one uh, yeah like i was saying one thing i do want to mention there's a ton of different different ones and a lot of them are not going to fit simply because the wire tends to be too short a lot of times it looks identical but the wire is short and you won't be able to plug it into your spark plug. So what I highly recommend is before you order it, lift up your seat and then you're going to see the model number, the serial number and all of that stuff of your riding lawnmower. You're going to use that serial number to find the correct matching one and you're going to order it. We're going to reuse the bolts. So one test fit it right here plug it back into the spark plug just like that see perfect length i'm gonna need another zip tie to zip tie this back all right but before i do i'm gonna try to lightly sand this rusted area just clean it slightly maybe even use use a towel just to get rid of that orange all right check it out you you want that clean especially while you have everything apart wow i did not expect this microfiber to do such a good job but check it out looks way way better all right so now simply going to repeat the process these go back in and it is going to connect one other thing that i do want to mention when replacing these make sure that you align it properly so it fits you do not want to be squeezing against this or you do not want to be far out where i guess the spark won't reach it or something you want to have it perfectly positioned and you want to tighten it down really good all right i'm gonna get everything situated and we'll continue to all right so now it is fully complete the white wire is back on it is fully secured and the wires on the spark plug so that is how easy and simple it is to replace your ignition switch next thing you have to do is put everything back together all you gotta do is throw this thing back on put in the four bolts on the end and that is it 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Press the like button. Subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace out.